What is going on guys, Miles here, back from the Minecraft video, and I just learned Mojang is not adding fireflies into Minecraft due to some being poisonous to frogs or something. I don't really know. I'm going to add them myself. This is not a mod. This is a data pack, so you can add it to, you know, your 1.17, 18, 19 worlds, whatever you want. Uh, it's fairly simple, but I'm going to take you through the process right now. All right, so it's going to be fairly simple, basically just using a particle. I already have a pretty good idea of what the particle is going to be, uh, which will be the glow from the glow squid. So, like, if I do this and I do, meh, we'll put it right above here and we'll have it of a spread of, I don't know, 30 by 20 by 30 uh, speed one. I don't think that should affect the uh, the thing at all. We do this, repeat, and boom. And we time set midnight. So as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's obviously fairly simple, and I can't really change the particle. Well, I can change the particle. I can't change the texture of the particle. So I think this is probably the best particle we can use. It looks quite nice. Um, but you see if I go, you know, past here, it kind of, it, it stops. It's actually quite a large range, as you can see. Uh, so maybe we don't need it so large, but a decent, a decent size like this. But what we can do is we can have it pretty much just follow the player. So we do like execute as at a at at s run particle and no matter how far i go it should follow me yep so we still have it in this birch forest very nice um now something i do want to do is obviously it needs to be only at night and i want it to be more prevalent in the swamp biome than other biomes so maybe more like this in the swamp biome just a little bit more prevalent because it is a swamp and it needs to not exist at all when you're in an ocean biome. Ocean biomes should not have it. Deserts should not have it. Uh, those are pretty much the only biomes. Any ocean biome, any desert biome. So now we got to figure out how to detect biomes. So now we need to be able to determine what biome we're in. For example, I want the swamp to have more and all other biomes to have a decent amount obviously at nighttime ocean to have none so that means we need a biome selector and to do that we're going to use predicates i don't know much about predicates uh, so i kind of use a generator but basically how it works is there's a bunch of different criteria you can do so you can do execute if predicate i already have one fireflies in the swamp so if you're in the swamp, if you're the person running this is in the swamp, uh, let's have it say hi. Hi. So uh, there we go. <laughs> so uh, you can just do that. And so, uh, for example, I could also yoink this and do execute as at a um, predicate equals fireflies in swamp at at s run say hi it should say hi yeah it said hi twice here i can clear that again to show you hi there we go uh but if i go in a different biome like over here to taiga or whatever and try and run this it will say no so that's good so now we just have to um, um make predicates for all the ocean biomes because they're separate biomes and you can also do uh e exclamation point so for example it won't go here but if I go to a different biome, now it will. So that's uh, <laughs> very simply how predicates work. I don't use them very often and I know very little about them, but they seem to work very well. So for example, I can yo yoink uh, this guy here, put him in our little just particle command block like that, turn it on and oops, our game will send command feedback false and time set midnight so you can see we got fireflies in the swamp and if we go outside of the swamp we no longer should have fireflies 
Aha, there we go. No longer fireflies. So once we enter the swamp, we should have fireflies. Ta-da! So now I just got to make a predicate for the ocean. And I'll see you guys back then. Well, actually, before I do anything with predicates, I need to get the time right so we can actually do that. So let's just time set night. This is, seems to be a pretty good time to actually get a thing. So we will do, uh, did I already have a scoreboard? Scoreboard objectives. I do. All right, time. So, so we're going to put the scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar, time. So we can actually see it and execute uh, store result score uh, we'll do tbc miles this is not how the actual thing will work uh run time query daytime so now let's actually set it tonight run this command again so we want to start at thirteen thousand and end at twenty three thousand so that's not that hard so let me code that so just in notepad plus plus here so all I really need to do is do the same thing I did there. Um, so I can just do execute as I'm not the best coder. Okay. I don't, ex I don't, I'm, I'm not super great. So I, I'm sure I do a bunch of redundant things and things that could be done easier. Don't judge me. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> execute as a day. run particle glow all right save so now if we go back into minecraft we're back in the minecraft here all i have to do is hit reload uh, the time should be constantly changing now i believe and yep time's constantly changing and we get the guys as long as it is and we get the quote unquote fireflies as long as it is nighttime so you can see we're just having a ball having a good old time you know just going around if we go outside the swamp it should stop because we do not have any other codes set up to run we are currently running at seven milliseconds per tick or seven ms per tick that's totally fine that's very acceptable even though my code is absolutely garbage and it's just constantly running which is kind of terrible <laughs> um, uh, so if you go in a different biome it should stop so if I swim over here we can see the change in man disgusting it is in the water I cannot change that so once I go in here it should stop once I go back it should be back perfect all right we actually don't need this command block that we've had anymore uh, and once the sun comes up, uh, they should all go away. So if I just do time add, I don't know, a thousand. First off, you'll see that scoreboard over here. Grow up, grow up, go up. So we got 20, 21. Uh, we'll add a hundred now. Just a little bit so you can see slowly coming up the fireflies are still around because it's still basically nighttime and all fireflies should go away very soon once we hit 23,000 which is in 10 seconds ish and all of them go away now boom and they're all gone ta-da <laughs> all right now i just gotta add the ocean thing so you don't get that and other biomes as well all right so i should have all the predicates done now so if i do slash reload and then i do slash execute if predicate here we are. We have all the ocean biomes. There's so many. There's cold ocean, deep cold ocean, deep frozen ocean, deep lukewarm ocean, deep ocean, frozen ocean, lukewarm ocean, ocean, and warm ocean. 
So <laughs> now I just got to code it where as long as you're not in those or the swamp, you just get uh, the same uh, particles, but less of at night, obviously. And I probably, I did realize I do want to do the height somewhat differently. So I changed the height a little bit on the uh, fireflies here. So there's now none really under the water and there's a bunch above and then they all kind of stop around Y100. Uh, so now I just, now I just have to add the code where it stops it. If you're in uh, ocean biomes, but continues it less or so if you're in regular biomes. All right, way too many predicates later. Uh, the sun's actually rising, but if I do slash reload, I should have fireflies to a lesser extent in this biome. And look at that, I do. They will go away quite soon, but uh, I have fireflies. And so yeah, that's actually really cool. Uh, this is so simple. I don't know why Mojang doesn't want to add this. There's some theories that it affects performance. It doesn't at all. My code is absolutely garbage right now, and it's running at six. That's like nothing. My bed wars runs at like uh, uh, twenty. But uh, yeah, so if I time set midnight again, just so we can see it, uh, they got the fireflies. And they do not go below the ocean, but when you're actually in an ocean biome, they don't exist at all. Uh, and this is dependent on the player. So it's quite, it's simple. I could have two different players. One could be in a swamp biome, uh, having lots of fireflies. So like here's the example of not swamp biome. And once we enter swamp biome, there is more. As you can see, uh, they could have, you know, all the particles around them. And I could be in like the middle of the ocean with none. It's it's very dependent, and I think it looks, I think it looks quite nice actually. I think it looks quite nice, and you can download this stupid thing, um, on Planet Minecraft uh, or on my website. Uh, the link in the description is probably to my website. But yeah, I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and uh, download this if you want it. I don't know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.